Hello everyone, we are from Group 2 Session 2 and we will be presenting about Smart Sorting Bins. This is our team presentation and I'm Kelvin Chong and I'm the mastermind of the team and we have the creator of the team, Sulasan, and then the designer of the team, Hawari, and the industry spy of the team, Ara. Smart Sorting Bin is the concept of smart waste management system with the implementations of IoT, the Internet of Things which enable it to communicate directly with the smart sensors and software. The wide usage of smart sorting bins create an IoT ecosystem where the data is collected to form a database for future analysis and forecasting. Hence, the objective of the smart sorting bins is to integrate IoT technology with Malaysia's current waste, man waste management system and to design a system that could perform automated sorting features to ease recycling. Also, to develop a system that could bridge the recycling agents of centers with the users to buy back those recyclable items to increase the recycling rate of the country. In Malaysia, we achieved a new high of 28% recycling rate in 2019, which is equivalent to 87,049 tons of waste being recycled. However, Malaysia landfill diversion rate is still high at 88%. Hence, we should show that due to the limited sorting facility, there's still about 30% of potential recyclable items being disposed of directly to landfill. According to the data from J JPSPNs, the household waste comprised of mainly plastic, papers, diapers, garden waste, glass, and metals. In the recycling market, these major items are mostly highly recyclable and attain a certain buyback value if it is sold to the recycling market. Now we look into the need for recycling centers. They often have a hard time to know where to find the recyclable vessels to buy back as people are either too lazy or too busy to sort them out individually to send for recycling. Also, in most developed cities, urbanization is taking place, which means that a large number of people will concentrate at a small city. This phenomenon arises problems like traffic congestion, overflowing dustbins, and hygienic problems. Meanwhile, in rural areas where garbage collectors is still mostly inaccessible, open burnings and open dummies become their only choice to dispose of the waste. To effectively tackle these problems, smart sorting bins is designed. And we look into the approach of the smart sorting bins. Rule optimization helps to effectively plan the trick to collect those only uh, a most full dustbin by skipping those unnecessary tricks. Meanwhile, real-time fuel level sensing monitor the fuel level of the dustbin so that it won't overflow and create hygienic problems. Forecasting and predictions, which can predict and forecast the fuel level in in each dustbin and plan the trip in advance and become fully automated in the future. Auto, notif auto notifications connect the recycling agents and the garbage collector to rural area and also the urban area by having auto notifications with location attached. It sends notifications to both garbage collector and recycling agents simultaneously to collect the full compartments. Smart sorting bins enables the smart sorting features that help to promote segregation and while upkeeping the recycling rate at the minimum effort. This approach are specifically designed to solve the before mentioned problems. Next, I will pass to the next presenter, Arash, to talk about the benefits. Um, thank you, Kelvin. Um, for the benefit part, uh, the product is called Smart Sorting Bin for reasons. This product has several benefits that are very useful for its customer. First, sustainability. The selection of the component is made carefully with full consideration of its sustainability and durability. As all parts are modular, the components are all easily replaceable. Second, income generation. The system allows users to generate income by recycling and saving time to send the recycling item to recycling center. It is now done at the user doorstep. Third, time saving. It can automatically sort the trash that is put inside the bin. It can detect if the trash is metal, glass, plastic, or wet waste. Metal, glass, and plastic are the categories with the higher recycling value and are the most common type of waste. Fourth, environmental friendliness. The smart sorting bin requires no other external power source. The solar panel is built directly into the cover of the dustbin. Hence, the solar power is sufficient to power up the system for a long period as it requires very little power. A single full charge is expected to take one hour under normal sunlight condition and is estimated to last one month under normal usage. Lastly, user-friendliness. 
The smart sorting bin is designed to be modular with an easy installation procedure. This could save transportation costs and storage. The user can modify the existing dustbin to become a smart sorting bin. Four wheels were installed to provide portability for the dustbin. The smart sorting bin designed for the waste to be taken out easily as the trash bin has a door on both sides of the smart sorting. With the locking function, the dustbin will stay in place. I will pass the presenter presentation to the next presenter, Hawari. Thank you. So now I will talk about the competitions. We have two types of our competitors. The first one is available waste management system and the second one is available commercial product. For available waste management system, we found three waste management which are Enable, Big Belly, and Auto. All these three waste management systems provide the solution for waste problem for their country. Next, for available commercial product, we found three smart sorting bins which are Trashbot, Flakes, and Bin E, while the other one is manual sorting bin which is Sortera IKEA. This one is comparison of available product with our product. We can see here uh, the Sortera uh, cannot auto sorting uh, the type of waste and also the trash board. Uh, for lab, fill level sensing, it's only available in BD, Plex, and our smart sorting bin. For AI or machine learning, it's only for BD, trash board, and Plex. Mobile application for BD and our smart sorting bin. Modular is our smart sorting bit, automatic alert notification for our smart sorting bit, solar panel is only for our smart sorting bin, and provide, provide hotspot feature is for bin E and trash bot, and compression is for bin E and flakes. It's software simulation. So this is the flow chart of the project. It started from inputting the wastes. Only when an object is sensed, it will proceed to activate the sensors. If not, it will return back to its own initial step. Then the following the sequence, it will activate the waste waste sensor first. If it is yes, then it will move to the wet waste bin. If it is not, it will activate the metal sensor to sense the metal. If it is a yes, then it will go to the metal bin. If not, it will proceed to activate the capacity sensor that is set to detect glass. And if glass is detected, it will move to the glass bin. If it is not glass, then it will activate the capacitive sensor that is set to detect plastic. If it's a yes, then it will move to the plastic bin. If it's not, it's very likely that this item is not supported by the project at this stage, like wood, fabric, or paper. And set to wet wet. All the, all the bins are monitored by the ultrasonic sensor to check its fuel level from time to time. When it's over 80%, it will trigger the SMS to alert garbage collector or the recycling agents to collect. This is a simulation done using Proteus software. Before we look into the simulations result, we first set the fuel level conditions inside the each bins. Ultrasonic sensor is used to monitor the fuel level of the dustbin. Hence, when the value is set at zero, which means that there's zero percent space left. When we set the value to twenty-two percent, it means that there are still twenty-two percent space left, and it's only seventy-eight percent full and will not triggers, will only triggers the SMS notifications at eighty percent. Object sensing is to make sure that the, the system will not be activated by any other factors than the waste's issues. Sensor like small soil moisture sensor is very sensitive towards the change in humidity. So when it's turned off, it will output a message saying that no, there's no object detected and please try again. In the conditions where the object sensing is turned on but none of the sensor is, is turned on or more than one sensor are turned on, it will output a message saying that this object is unidentifiable. When the metal sensing is turned on, it will output, output a message saying that the metal is detected and the fuel level is critical because we have set, we have set the fuel, fuel level conditions inside it, it to be 0%, that means it's, it's full and what it does is this servo motor will turn to its respective bin and this servo motor will turn 90 degrees so that it lets the metals to slide directly through, through the pipe to its final destination. When, when the glass sensing is turned on and we can see that it will output the result saying that the glass is detected and the fuel level is normal because we have we set the fuel level conditions in, in glass compartments to be 22% space left. The same scopes with when plastic sensor is turned on and the others is turned off, it will output the message saying that the plastic is detected and the fuel level is normal because we have set we have set the plastic fuel level conditions to be 23% space left. And this one is our prototype demonstration. Yeah, hello everyone. So now we'll show our project prototype that's smart sorting bin. So totally we do a square shape. And the behind of the smart sorting bin, we got LCD here, it is to show the full fuel level of the bin. And the top of the smart sorting bin should have a solar panel to charge to let our project function. 
and here we got a hole to throw the waste inside and the sensor are all right there to detect the recycled waste we threw, in, threw into and in front here we use a magnetic door lock to lock one door and this is the rotating part to let our waste to the two compartment and inside we got four compartment to each recycle waste like paper, uh, plastic, metal, glass and waste and here is the circuit and the sensor output and here is easy to take out this uh, repairability and the compartment here is a removable compartment so yeah, we are easily also to collect the recycled waste that we threw out okay so let me see at the bottom of the smart sorting beam we got a four roller at there so this is uh, actually probability to move the smart sorting beam okay so that's all for the prototype okay so now let me try to demo the sensor part so here we got four waste paper and glass and a plastic bin here and now we use the tomato to pick up what's the, uh, which the waste is it so we put into the input the hole here and the soil waste sensor and the IR sensor will function and the tomato will go to the wet waste bin that we see okay so the next we use the metal bowl to try when we put into the uh, the hole the inductive sensor and the IR sensor will function and the pipe will go to the two compartment the metal bowl will go into the metal compartment and the next one we use the plastic bottle that we put at put into and the capacity sensor will off and the IR sensor will detect and the flat stack will go to the waste bin like uh, based on our flow chart okay so the next one we use the glass bottle this is a glass bottle we put inside the IR sensor and the capacity sensor will function and the pipe will go to the true compartment and the glass will go into the glass compartment and then the last one is the wood this is the unsupported uh, thing in our project so we put the IR sensor only will function in the would also go to the waste bin that we see so that's all the demo part thank you okay so now let me uh, demo the other part so you can see here the full level of our bin which are 30 cm something so let, oh, let me put a bottle under the ultra space sensor this is in the metal bin so we can see here the lcd will show the metal level m level is only 5 cm so means the metal bin is already full so we will get a message that alert someone to collect the waste like you can see here uh, place collect waste MJIT the fuel level can also be monitored by the user using the blink app so that's all of our project demo part next slide i will pass to lesson so this is the result table of our project so we are already used a lot of material to calculate the accuracy of the sensor but here we just only use three samples to, to to show the result okay so from this table we can see that the first one we are used the inductive sensor to detect the metal and we can see here they are very accurate the, the sample we use is a key, a spoon, and a screwdriver, and all are detected as a metal. So the accuracy, like, can say 100%. So the next one is the glass. We use capacity sensor to detect the glass. So here we got the chili sauce uh, and two kind of cup. But here we can see there are only one cup is detected as the glass, and another one doesn't. So the capacity sensor are only on for the first two sample, and the last sample is off. So the last sample will they take as the wet waste okay so the third one we are also using the capacity sensor also but this time we are used to detect the plastic but uh, unfortunately the, after our testing the capacity sensor is cannot to detect the plastic so the capacity sensor is always off then the plastic bag the plastic bottle and a glove are differentiated as a uh, wet waste based on our flow chart okay so the last one we are using the soil moisture sensor to detect wet waste and this is same like metal this is very accurate so like we can see we, here we got lemon uh, tomato and uh, wet cloth okay so uh, accuracy also same like 100 percent is very accurate okay and then we can see about our graph so this is our this is our graph we can see the metal glass and plastic and the wet waste okay so the metal and the wet waste is 100% to detect and the glass is around 67% and the last one that is unfortunately is 0% okay so after our testing we will find some of the potential error and some of the solution to solve the problem so the potential errors identification is the inconsistence of capacity sensor to detect materials of the same kind and unable of capacity sensor detecting plastic and the last one is inaccurate detection of object in some complicated condition so the solution to solve the potential error is to adjust the higher sensitivity of the capacity sensor to detect more glass and replace the plastic bin to the unsupported bin and the last one is the sequence of the coding to make sure that the complicated condition is also can detect accurately for the recycle let us uh, reuse the past recycle the present and save the future to start recycling and then we start recycling today so thank you for watching that's all for us see you again thank you very much